Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel, Civil Quick Revision. Uh, today I am going to discuss with you strength of materials, uh, where I will discuss with you the first chapter, that is properties of material. So, uh, let's get started with my topic. Okay, okay. First, uh, before going to before study about the materials, about the properties of material, we can assume some, uh, uh, assume some, you know, properties for that material. Like the materials is continuous material, it's homogeneous material. It, it may be isotropic, it may be orthotropic, which is it may be an isotropic. It may be the combination of homogeneous plus isotropic. So let's uh, come to the uh, homogeneous material. If you can see that in homogeneous material, the property in one direction is same. Okay, then where the stresses is same in one particular direction. And in the isotropic material, you can see that property at the point in all directions same. In one particular point, you can see the stresses are same. That is called isotropic. Okay, this is homogeneous. This is isotropic. Isotropic. And in an autotopic, where uh, the stresses are uh, mutually perpendicular direction, their stress is different in the different direction. Okay, in anisotropic, here property at one particular point in different direction, property different. You can see that in one particular point, there is a different stress in the different direction. Now, coming to the point 6, that is homogeneous plus isotropic, where any point in any direction, property same. In any direction, property same. In any point, the direction will same. It's a combination of this. Okay. Now, coming to stress. What is stress? Stress is the force per unit area. What is that force? This is that resisting force. Okay. The unit is Newton, meter, Newton per meter square or Pascal or megapascal or newton per meter square can write like this okay now coming to classification of this stress as strain stress is normal stress it may be in a shear stress normal stress we can classify direct and indirect in shear stress we can uh, classify direct shear force and indirect shear force direct shear force is like a tangential direct force and indirect uh, indirect shear force is like we give torsion in the material okay like that, a strain. Uh, what is a strain? You can see there are normal strain, shear strain, and volumetric strain. In normal strain, you see that uh, we can give a load, the tension load applied in a material where change in direction and the volume will change in this material. And in shear strain, we can, uh, if we apply a uh, strain, strain in that particular load, it, where change in shape will occur but without change in the volume okay now in volumetric strain it here only volume change but without shape will change okay you just remember this point now classification already i have discussed the normal stress shear stress in normal stress tension stress is applied here in compression load is applied stress is the force power unit area in shear stress you can see if you apply a load in this particular beam section uh, there is a bending will occur in this uh, so there is a bending occur and section modulus so stress is equal to moment by section modulus and uh, in the shear direct shear in direct shear we apply torsion here so that shear stress is equal to torsion by section uh, section modulus this is polar section modulus and in this direct shear stress is equal to force per unit in this direct tangential force will given to this material okay now coming to some important properties of material what is elasticity elasticity is the property of material where it can regain shape on a mobile of load when we uh, remove the load on a particular material it will regain its shape okay as you can see from the stress strain curve uh, at one particular point if we remove the load the material will come to its original position okay now coming to plasticity what is plasticity plasticity is the material it is the property of material okay it underscores permanent deformation after removal of the load okay now coming to point uh, three it is ductile what is the ductile ductile is the property of material to allow large deformation or large extension okay and uh, fourth point is brittle what is brittle it undergoes small extension or deformation prior to failure 
okay failure it's fail fail is sudden okay so uh, here you can remember this point strong in it is called strong in compression weak in tension moderate in shear okay now coming to ductility what is ductility it uh, ductility can be made into wires it is a strong in tension because ductile material has the property to allow large deformation or large extension so it is strong in tension we can share moderate in compression what is the malleability it is a property of material which is uh, pressed into thin sheets okay is this uh, remember this because in exam definition type of question will ask in the pyqs you can see from crumis you can see from pyqs from apsc aza you got this uh, questions from the theory portion now elastic constant what is elastic constant elastic constant ki hoy okay yet i mean young's modulus shear modulus this type of things you can study these are the elastic constant young's modulus it with the elastic constant okay within elastic constant shear stress is directly proportional to strain if we give a stress in the particular material okay at one particular point stress is directly proportional to strain that is the young's modulus if we uh, remove this uh, you know um, a proportionality sign we get uh, is equal uh, stress is equal to young's uh, modulus into a uh, shear strain okay we can represent young's modulus is equal to stress by strain unit is newton per mm square and this young's modulus is represent the slope of stress strain curve if we draw like this stress is a strain if we draw like this this is a stress strain curve stress is directly proportional to strain this is the limit of proportionality limit uh, which obey uh, hooke's law after that if we increase the load like this up we can get upper yield point lower yield point like this we get the curve okay when we discuss this graph we will uh, describe in more details okay uh, now uh, this stress strain curve this slope represent a Young's modulus. Now coming to shear modulus and rigidity modulus. Okay, here you can see if we give shear stress in that particular plane, okay, there is a shear strain stress is given. There is shear strain will develop. So if we remove this proportionality constant, there is a, a constant will come. This is Z. This is shear modulus into shear strain. I can represent like this. Z is equal to Uh, shear stress by shear strain newton per mm square is the unit now coming to bulk modulus k it represent by k okay here uh, if we compress a material okay or we can give a load in a particular uh, material there is a change in the volume you can see this is uh, a change in strain volumetric strain so we can write like this uh, bulk modulus is equal to stress by volumetric strain one important point you just note it down if it, it uh, this will ask in the questions if it's your questions you just remember for a rigid body if a rigid body there is no you know there is no change in the strain if you apply low there is no change in the strain so if there is no strain if this value is zero then the bulk modulus is equal to infinity okay that type of question will ask you can get it if you do practice from the books you get this question okay now there is a really important relationship e is always greater than k and k is greater than c remember this relation you just for easy for easy to remember e first you write e after that kz we know kz we studied in kindergarten kz so e kz like that now poisson's ratio what is poisson's ratio it is a ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain okay if we apply load then shall load in this direction p in this direction there is a uh, you know increase in the length but there is a decrease in the lateral strain that's why it's come here one negative sign already if lateral strain will decrease there is already a negative sign will there so to cut off this negative we Uh, you know, apply this negative in front of the formula. That's why the negative of lateral strain we got from this diagram. So by longitudinal strain, you can see from negative negative it comes out the positive value. That's why it's give negative sign in this. You just remember this formula. Okay, in exam 
The questions are asked in the uh, theory, theoretically it asks. Okay. Like what is Poisson's ratio? It is a ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain or it is a longitudinal strain to lateral strain like that they will ask. Okay, you just remember. There is no unit for Poisson's ratio. Poisson's ratio for cork is equal to zero where you can see when a cork is present in the bottom, there is no lateral strain or longitudinal strain will apply. That's why here one Poisson's ratio will equal to zero. Now coming to some important relationship. E is equal to 2G 1 plus mu. E is equal to 2G 1 plus mu. Remember this. E is equal to 3K 1 minus 2 mu. Okay. Poisson ratio is also equal to 3K minus 2G 6K plus 2G. Like that. Okay. And M is equal to 9KZ 3K plus Z. Okay. Now, one important point E and mu. X modulus and Poisson ratio are independent constant. Okay, for homogeneous metal and isotropic. For homogeneous and isotropic, the independent constant is 2. For homogeneous plus orthotropic, the independent constant is 9. For homogeneous plus and isotropic, the material is 21. Independent constant. You remember this? This will ask in the questions. Okay, now uh, I have uh, bring some questions uh, from PYQs. Uh, of, of properties of material from strength of material. So let's get started. Uh, what is rupture stress? What is rupture stress? As you know, stress is force per unit area. You can see what is stress? It's a breaking stress or maximum load per original cross section area, or it is a load at breaking point by original cross section area, or it is the load at breaking point by neck area. It is the load at breaking point by neck area. You just remember this, okay. Now coming to question number two, elasticity of various metal is uh, materials controlled by what? The ultimate tensile stress, proof stress, Ill st stress at ill point or stress at elastic point. Elasticity of various material is mainly controlled by stress at ill point. Okay. Now coming to question number three, ratio of lateral strain to linear strain within elastic limit is known as what? Young's modulus, bulk modulus, modulus of rigidity or Poisson's ratio. As we have already discussed. Okay, ratio of lateral strain to linear strain is what? This is a Poisson's ratio. Okay. Now, uh, coming to uh, question number four, ratio of direct stress to volumetric strain. Direct stress to volumetric strain. In case of any body subjected to trim usually perpendicular stress of equal intensity is called what? This is bulk modulus. Okay, because direct stress to volumetric strain. Stress by volumetric strain. The bulk modulus. Now coming to question number five. If a material is subjected to tensile load, okay, then to avoid shear failure of a material along a plane inclined at 45 degrees to the direction of tensile stress, the material should have its shear strength at least equal to what? It's a tensile strength, half the tensile strength, or compressive strength, or it is a principal stress. It is option half the tensile strength. Okay, you just remember this. Uh, now question number six in simple tension test Hooke's law is valid up to Hooke's law is valid up to what? It's the limit of proportionality, breaking point, ultimate point or yield point. As we know that it is the limit of proportionality, where stress is directly proportional to strain. We all all know this. Okay. Now question number seven the Young ratio of Young's modulus to uh, Young's modulus to modulus of rigidity is what for a Poisson ratio of 0 0.2. As you know that E is equal to 2G 1 plus mu. In this question, ratio of E by Z is R. So, we can uh, take the G in the denominator and uh, put the value of uh, Poisson ratio here. What do we get? 2 into 1.2 is 2.4. Option B is the correct answer. Okay. Now, coming to question number 8. Some structural members subjected to long time sustained load. They form progressively with time, especially at elevated temperatures. That phenomenon is called what? Question to question is at uh, structural members thake, so I mean long time or current sustainable loads due to due that they deform why some material to progressively with time or over the phenomena to quite creepily quite. Already discussed chorus to fatigue or kotha meta agor strength of materials or question on that they might creep or kotha question to bake by it question ahi thake. I'm gonna get the key say so please a bull no kuriwa fatigue or creep or over. 
now coming to question number 9 a material have same properties on the on all direction all direction on property same bully go say and we put here is a little bit not so it's a isotropic material okay now coming to question number 10 bulk modular scale rigidity and okay bulk modular scale rigidity and position ratio 1 by n so we are relation key high 1 by m is a position ratio we can write like this for your you know convenient 1 by m you know that position is equal to 3k minus 2z modulus result modulus or result is given as 2n so 6k minus 2n here is the answer given to 6 to n okay option number b is the correct answer now question number 11 the value of position ratio of the material lie between you see c option is 0 and half okay Position value of position ratio of the material lie in between the range of what 1 to 2, 0 to 1, 0 and half to 2 to 3. Option is 0 to half. Okay, you just remember this. Now, question number 12 the value of stress up to which is a member regain its original shape or size after, after removal of load is called what? As you can discuss above, it is an elastic limit. In elastic limit, the if we remove the load, the material will uh, regain its shape and size. Okay. Uh, so for that, uh, uh, today uh, I conclude here my uh, topic of uh, strength of materials on properties of strength of, of properties of the materials. So if you like this video, please uh, share to your friends and uh, and uh, please uh, like share and subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt regarding uh, any subject uh, in your upcoming exams for uh, PWD JE okay, you can contact me in telegram civil quick revision you can join the link from my description okay so for that today I conclude here thank you